I'm in here minding my business in the international travel section and Facebook canceled my last live. I don't know what the hell people are doing and why they're doing it. I don't even care anymore. I just tried to come to a place where I could have some peace and quiet. I've been trying to have peace and quiet for three years and it's not worked at all. Um, Mm. I've just been caught in the middle of so many people's bullshit that now I'm just I don't want to do nothing but be by myself like I don't everything that's happening like it really hurts me it really really hurts me and so um I just needed to come somewhere where I can sit for a second and try to make sense of everything. Like, this is one place where I can be where they won't turn up the air conditioning on me and all those other, you know, practices and goofball shits that people be doing, especially once I spend my money somewhere, you know. Um, I never liked that. Um, like I said, I was trying to go somewhere. I was going to go to Burger King, to be honest, but all of the ones were too far. And then the ones I was going to, they don't have outlets, and I need to keep my stuff charged. So it just was a headache. And now I'm just... I just want to delete everything and start over. Like, I just, I do. So, um, I was staying offline, like I said, because I was minding my business. I was staying offline because I was trying to stop attracting attention to myself. But unfortunately, people can't be trusted when I don't when I, um, people just can't be trusted. And I'm really starting to see how less my life matters to people that I thought my life mattered to. So I'm trying to deal with that. And um, that's it. At the end of the day, people just, they gonna tell the stories they wanna tell, they gonna run with it the way they wanna run with it. I'm like, oh. But yeah, that's it. I'm just, I just want to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do to show that I'm minding my business, not doing nothing. And furthermore, you know, people are following me and doing the most. And that makes me feel unsafe and it scares me. And so I don't want any parts of that. And the worst part is the main people that's doing it, I ain't do nothing. What you talking about? Oh, you did that. And all that corny shit. So. Um, I'm going to try to retrieve the files of what I recorded in Philly so I can put that out on my podcast. Um, and I got to get all these other files off my computer. I'm sick of looking at them. I'm tired of looking at them. I want to post some shit to my my main page for a second. Uh, I'll be right back. Kanaja, hey boo. Thank you so much for being a supporter of the podcast. I, I mean, it really, really means a lot to me, seriously. Um, I've been doing things for years and to get people to come and support the stuff that I'm doing, like it's like pulling teeth when it comes to, you know, um, either one, men that can't get what they want out of me. And two, you know, people that are supposed to be my loved ones or whatever, like they fake, they fake it, you know, and it kind of sucks. I wish I had like, you know, uh, one of those like supportive, like friend groups or supportive family members, but that just ain't what my life is about. Um, yeah, it's just, that's not what it's about, unfortunately. Um, but, you know. What I do know is all it takes is one thing to happen and, and be spectacular and then people will change their whole tune because that's exactly what they did. That's what they did when Martin hit, when I did the First Amendment shit, that they did that when that hit, and then they did it when Wild and Out hit, and then it went back to being just regular. But everybody was 
my bestie around that time. And, you know, where are they now? In fact, is Quincy Jones dead? Where are the comedians? Let me put that in my comments. I need to know if Quincy Jones, not the, not the, not, not the producer legend, not 80 year old Quincy Jones, not the legend, the comedian Quincy Jones. Cause I showed donated $60 to his cause cause he was uh, terminally ill from cancer allegedly. And then went on Ellen with his story and then, you know, um, wanted to put together his, uh, his special. And 